I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental. You asked for it, so we're giving it to you. I have Aaron Terence Hughes on my channel again. How are you doing, Aaron? Nice to see you back. Fantastic. Ready for games? I'm ready for games. Let's do it. Always ready for the games. Okay, you enjoyed the Perfumer Rates cheapest video. This one is going to be different. Aaron is still going to be rating fragrances. If you want to see what they are, stay tuned to FM. So in the last video, um, Aaron was here on my channel and we rated cheapy perfumes. I just thought it would be interesting for a perfumer to rate cheapy fragrances. In this video, I'm not going to tell Aaron what the fragrances are. He doesn't know whether they're niche, whether they're designer, whether they're clones, whether they're cheapies. You will know watching because I'm going to flash the names of these up on screen as he's smelling them. I will reveal the names of the fragrances to Aaron at the end of the video. Some he might know, some he might not know. I think we should just make a distinction here that just because you're a perfumer does not mean you're an expert in all the fragrances that exist in all the world. No. So you may not have smelled some of these. No. Which is fine because we can still have your your opinion sure. on these. Um, and let's give a little bit of background as well just in case you didn't see the earlier videos with Aaron. So Aaron is... Um, a trained chemist, he has a chemistry degree, degree. Yep. and, and uh, you are a perfumer, you have yep. your own line of fragrances, so you work with these uh, aroma chemicals and raw materials yep. very, very often. Every day. So rather than, because of the, the chemistry background, rather than picking out um, specific accords, you more tend to pick out um, the actual chemicals that are used in a fragrance. Yes. Or the note. Or yep. the, yeah. So, so how, um, what I don't do is I don't do the marketing job is, which is they will tell you what chords are in there. I yeah. don't, I don't, no, I'm not, nothing to do with marketing. I'm a chemist, so I will smell the uh, aroma chemicals, I'll smell the essential oils, I'll smell the naturals, I'll smell the musks, I'll smell the fixatives. And from that I'll know l the longevity from the musks and the fixatives that are used. Mm -hmm. uh, the top notes, whether they're a combination of naturals or uh, aroma chemicals. Yeah. And, um, Sort of in my, but I'm going to judge it on if I would like it. There's also if I would like it. So it's yeah, yeah. I think that's really important. And based on you identifying the aroma chemicals used in the fragrances, you then know because you know that chemical, you know what the longevity of it would be. Yes. So even though you're smelling these off a test strip, you've got a pretty good idea of of you know how yes. how it would be, uh, how 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 the whole fragrance would perform. Yes, and, yeah. and another thing is, I don't know, the last time I bought a fragrance outside of mine was over 10 years ago, so I don't know what's out there. So this is an, uh, an opportunity for me to know what other companies are producing. I just, yeah. I have no idea. Okay. okay, all right. So let's start off with the list. We've got six fragrances for Aaron to get his nose on. He's gonna give us his opinions. We're gonna go through all six and then revisit each one briefly so he can formulate his final rating and opinion. He has to rate them because this series is now called Perfumer Rates. Um, thanks for all the support on the previous video. Let's hope this one is just as enjoyable. Let's get into the first fragrance. Now, there you go, sir. Okay, thank you. He has no idea what they are where they're from, totally blind sniffing. Very nice, so completely different to, uh, so I'm gonna go on the, what I smelled last time to mm -hmm. this one. Sure. Um, different different uh, category of, um, so the, the person that designed this is, um, isn't a high street brand. So it is not a, uh, I want to mimic some stuff and I just base, um, it's not um, shit in a can. Definitely not to shit in a can. You got that. Do you know what right? I mean? It's like I know, so, absolutely not. So I can yeah. smell um, like tree moss, the sort of tree moss. I can smell um, balsas. I can smell uh, sort of a balsamic balsamino. I can smell a bit of wood. I can smell, and it's so now how I know this is. So how I know this is then a, a more of a niche, well crafted fragrance as it changes. So with fragrance, and it's not linear. So there's some naturals combined with uh, aromatic chemicals. And I'll probably price this about 180, 200 pounds. This would last, so this would last probably uh, about 10 hours plus. You're right with that. And That's it would have, um, it would have a projection of probably about three feet. I mean, yep. There you go. Okay. All right. Did you like it? 
Uh, I wouldn't wear it, but then uh, I think okay. it's, one thing I want to say is I think it's very well crafted, yeah. but it's the sort of fragrance, I'm making fragrances for me. So for me, it hasn't got the uh, dirty, filthy, sexy element. It doesn't feel very sexy to me. It sort of feels like a very nice, uh, expensive fragrance. So somebody with money would buy that. I think it's very nice, but it, to me, it's not very sexy. Okay. Uh, out of ten, you can change these as about we go back and forth. Uh, about, about an eight. I out think. Of 10? I think. Okay. It, but it may. Uh, I think it's well. I think it's well crafted. But because it doesn't have the very sexy element, I, I wouldn't mark it as a ten. I like a bit of filth. I think this one might have a little bit of filth. Okay. Maybe, maybe not enough for you. Okay. But see what you think. Right. No, no, not at all. It's got something in it. It's so the top note. No. You're not, not liking top, it. Not at all. Not at all. But um, no, I don't like it at all. It's um. What don't you like about it? Uh, I don't like um, uh, green notes mixed with bals uh, the balsamic notes. It's it's um I can tell I can tell you don't like yeah, it. Yeah, I really just don't I don't I don't like <laughs> it. All right, you're not gonna gag, are you? Not gonna no. gag, but okay. it's, it's very um It's got a good so it's got uh like a, a, a tree moss with um green notes into it and the two I just don't like that sort of um no. But yeah. I, I don't think uh, no I don't, I don't like it at all. Okay. What type of fragrance do you think it do you think it is? Um, would it you know would it be um well, it's definitely uh, I think it's more, uh, I, I don't know because I don't like it so I mean I, I wouldn't I um how I how what I would like to see with that is more is more sort of um it seems very hard and metallic and I would quite like some softness into it. So it's um it's it's nicely blended. Keep smelling it while you're talking yeah, yeah, yeah. it helps you. Yeah, there's something that I don't like. It's something I really, really don't like. So it's it's it's, but it's nicely blended. But there's um, it's the green metallicy. Um, it's green and metallic, which which I really don't like. It's yeah, um, yeah it's not a, not vibing with you. You no, wouldn't not, 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 not for you, not like your it. style. No, I don't all like right, it at all. Okay, well this is good. We want the honesty. You know, despite whatever these fragrances might be, we've got some Vix. What? I'm joking. What's okay, no, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I can get you a coffee. No. Um, this is why we like Aaron coming on the channel because uh, he has no preconceptions about these brands, about the fragrances, whether they're cheap, whether they're expensive. He will just say what he feels and you bear in mind that it's all personal opinion. I know there's a chemist sitting here as well, but he's also talking as a person, yeah. whether he likes a fragrance or not. And not everyone is gonna like every single fragrance. Uh, even if you love it out there, if you really enjoy it, uh, you know, there'll be people out there who equally don't enjoy it and we have to accept that. So I fully accept that. Okay. Sorry, what I, I didn't ask what you would give that one out of ten. That previous. Um, one. Okay, so if I th so do you know one thing I can do? I can actually remember a fragrance in my brain. This, yeah. Um, so uh, if I so if I took out the green note that I don't like, I think it's quite nice. The backbone is quite nice, but okay. there's a single note which I really don't like. So if the sing if that single green note went, mm -hmm. I'd probably rate it about a seven, six, seven. But because the green note, it's really repugnant. Okay. And it's it's got that. Um, I, but that's a very personal thing. Yeah, it's I, just I, a personal. I, I, I personal just, thing. I don't know. Yeah. So maybe a four. I just don't like it. Yeah. But hey -ho. okay. Right. Right. On to the third one. Soft and fluffy with some citrus top notes. So. Um, Lim uh, can, sorry, what I can smell is uh, uh, limoline, so it's massively uh, limoline top note, which is very fresh, very bright, and uh, ethyl linalool as well. Uh, uh, what kind of okay, chords so do they do they generate? Well, it's not, uh, it's, it's, it, 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 yeah, it's but it's not. It's, so it's like it's a very linear. Uh, so this is very linear, smooth with a sort of citrusy top note. They're trying to. Um, it's, um, it's supposed to be a bergamot top note, but. I'm not getting uh, the, uh, how beautiful um, bergamot is. Bergamot is uh, it's very beautiful, sparkly, sparkly, and I'm, and, yeah. and I'm sort of I'm missing I'm missing naturals in this. So this is okay. uh, this has got some naturals, but it's it's primarily a sort of like a synthetic -y sort of uh, top note. Yep. 
and there's the softness is from uh, the softness is from the musk so we've got um i would like to see more musk in this to make it uh, last I, sure. I like fragrances that that have a longevity and i don't think this is a um a fragrance that would have much longevity but the projection is very good and sometimes it's a trade-off that you have um because the money that's involved and yeah. to have both is very expensive so it's sort of like a trade-off one one on the other yeah I, I actually do get a good longevity from this one okay now the top notes go i can sort of smell uh sort of the game the, the um, it's just it's a aroma chemical it's a tree moss i can smell the tree moss i can smell a bit of woods it's it's more pleasant but now the yeah. now the uh, the uh, aroma chemical top notes have sort of gone. Yeah. So it's much more pleasant, much more mellow. It's much more mellow, much more softer. Yeah. It's a summery fragrance. It's very. It's it's actually very nice. Now top notes gone. So it's summery woods. Um, I can't pronounce that with my dyslexia. The C H Chepre. Chepre. So yeah. it's that's that's the where it sort of comes from. And it's soft and it's fluffy. So yeah. it's okay. it's nice. Something you would wear. Um. Again, it's not. It's not uh, got. I like stuff to punch you in the face. Yeah. I, I like stuff that um, I spray once. You, you know, I, I think this one I, I would work differently on skin. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree. think. I think you're not. You're not getting the whole fragrance yeah, on, yeah, on the paper. Yeah, I, I, that's just something that happens. In, in these videos, we can't put everything on skin. So I know, um, you know, a lot of you out there will will be, um, you know, will be saying, "Oh, you know, what? That's not what I get." But. Um, nice and clean so it's a clean okay. it's a clean everyday fragrance i think this is i think if i smelt someone wearing this i would think they were um had thought about what they were wanting to wear yeah. so it would be someone who's who understands their identity understands their identity through fragrance and would be this is who i am and would have a um uh, that this is their personality so i think it's okay. a i i would respect someone who would be uh, yeah yeah it's def definitely you make a solid choice to wear this fragrance. Yeah, That's so I think I would respect someone. Who, I would know that somebody who had th would be thinking about it. Mm. So that's six. Okay, out of ten. Six, six out of six, ten. Six, yeah. Great. Other side. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Side with the with the word with the letters on and just there. Don't want you to uh, not get the full hit. Loads of cumarin, um, loads of aroma chemicals. Um, about two, two or three. Oh, it's just a bit boring. Okay. It's it's well crafted, but it's just a bit boring. It's um, lemon, lemon, bergamot, citrus, um, bit of cumarin. Professional, so it's, I'd say it's just professional. Um, it's just a bit boring. It's, okay. it's, I find it a bit boring. I yeah. find it a bit tame. I find it a bit unexciting, a bit unadventurous. Always a popular one with the ladies, this one. It, sm it, smelled, it, yeah, it smells like a, um, a wealthy man, a wealthy middle-aged man. That's what it sort of smells like. And me. this brand is aiming for that, I think. Yeah, so that this yeah. is, so, okay, so there you go. So, but it's, for me, I wouldn't buy this because, for me, I wouldn't buy this because it's, um, I don't fit in that demographic. Okay. Do you still see what I mean? Yeah, but sure, sure. I think yeah. it's well crafted. For yeah. what it is, I think I can definitely smell there's been thought a thought process behind yeah. this and there's been like a communication bef between marketing and a perfumer and there's yeah. been some love and care with this. It isn't just sort of shoved together and sure, yeah. and span. But it's not again, it's not your style. So no, it's a, you would rate that quite lowly. No, quite, no, 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 no. So I wouldn't buy it. Yeah. But I can see the craft behind it. Yeah. So taking my you know, my personality away from it. Yeah. But I can sort of feel it'd be like a, um, it's like you're forgetting at 45. I think it'd be like a, <laughs> a, a sort of a 50 year old man with money, drives a nice car, got a very nice job. Yeah. Uh, nice, a nice person would wear this because it hasn't got the, um, the sort of the filthiness to it. The sort of the, the. It's not a bad boy fragrance at all. No, no, no. It's a very nice yeah. man's fragrance. Very yeah. well crafted. Yeah. And this actually would, um, is as longer lasting as the first one. Projects probably just as far. It smells mm -hmm. of money. So I'd imagine somebody with money, uh, yeah. somebody with money, somebody with uh, status, somebody with sure. a nice car, probably a Porsche. Out of ten, what would you? What would you I think it's an eight. I think it's, I think it's well ten? crafted. Okay. But I'm I would, say, I would, I'm, I'm, yeah, I wouldn't wear it. I'm happy with that. Okay, on to the next. Much better. 
I would wear this. So this is something, yeah, this is younger. Yeah, this is much, much better. Instantly likeable. Uh, I personally like this. I think it's well-rounded, warm. I know the muscle they're using. Yeah. M uh, mus fixatives. So this makes oh. me happy. So when I fit, uh, so it's, uh, I think this is well blended. Well, uh, this is very well blended because I can't smell aroma chemicals. Mm -hmm. I can't smell essential oils. I can't smell patchouli, even though I know patchouli's in there. I can't smell sandalwood, even though I know sandalwood's in there. Can't smell limoline, linalol, geraniol, cumarin. It, so, what you, so what you're saying, you're saying that you think they are in there, but no, they are in there. But you're not, but you can't pick them out, or so it smells blends. So when things are well crafted, well blended, you sort it's of it's a smooth blend. Yes, and right. So you know they're there, but you can't pick yes. them out as pro prominent individual okay. notes. Really good yeah. analogy is like if you have very cheap uh, whiskey. Yeah, you can sort of smell it gritty. You can taste bits of nastiness. Very expensive ultra pure whiskey just smells pure, and this has got it like a purity. To it, but it doesn't smell as expensive as the the, the, yeah. the last one and the first one smells think like I, expensive yeah. but this agree. i think is more youthful i think this is for i prefer it yeah it's got purity exciting. and it's not as and it's exciting. opulent as the others which yeah. i prefer it is exciting yeah, yeah i agree all right great out of ten uh so for uh as speaking as a perfumer i sort of say that as a uh, uh about a seven or eight for me mm -hmm. personally i'd rate it sort of like a nine because i'd buy it Side, other side, just there. Um, boring, boring, boring fragrance. Um, boring. Yeah, it just smells like it. Just smells like everything. Disappointing. I feel when I smell this and I smell this identity, I think it's mm -hmm. boring, and I think it's um, boring. I think with uh, over four thousand. Wait, wait. Can I just clarify? Is yeah, it boring? It is boring. <laughs> Disappointing because I think for over four. If you think there are. 4,000 aroma chemicals, naturals, yeah. and you can blend them to make how many permutations from that, and you come out with something that smells with the same skeleton yeah. as everything else. Yeah. It's just disappointing, yeah. and I feel yeah. disappointed. Okay. In this one's defense, uh, having just smelt it on the strip as I passed it over then, I will say um, it does not smell as good on the paper as it does. No, uh, I, was, uh, I think so I'm going to go on a, a limb here. I think okay. it's uh, I think it's a Chanel fragrance, and do you know how I know that? Because it smells like uh, how Chanel make a fragrance, and I think it's a cheap Chanel fragrance. So I don't think it's the expensive Chanel fragrance, and I think it's a uh, man in his thirties. Uh, but I think it's disappointing because not for the person who'd wear it, because I think it's nice, but I think it's disappointing that a company with with prestige and such a beautiful company isn't doing anything exciting. Do you, do you understand what I mean? Uh, yeah, I, I get what you mean, but I think, you know, a, a, a um, well, I'm not going to reveal who, who it is, but uh, if we are talking about those those big designer brands, then there has to be an element of mainstream to them. They're catering to the masses. They're yeah, not catering I, to the I niche. Can tell you, so. I can tell you what marketing have told them. Marketing have said, we want a fragrance that's fast, sporty, sexy, young, um, um, uh, like a citrusy top note going down to Ambrox, so a lot of Ambrox in, and um, I think it's nice. I, I think it's nice, but I think it's disappointing. So I think, um, yeah. All right, out of ten. Okay, so it's, uh, I think it's Chanel. So I think it's well, obviously well crafted, uh, but I think it's boring. So it gets uh, um, points knocked off for that. So I'd, I'd, about a seven, six or seven, because okay. I think it's Chanel, but I think it's bo so. If it, if if I'd never smelt this on. Um, in the street, yeah. hundreds of times from different chemical, from different uh, companies. Yeah. Then I would rate it as an as a nine because I think it's really nice. Yeah. But because I've smelt it, and I think it's disappointing, mm -hmm. so I rate it as a six okay. purely because it's fun. All right, great. So we've got the initial ratings there. Let's go quickly whiz back through them all. This is just a quick re-smell just to see so this was the first one which you yeah balsamic uh said an eight yeah i, I like one. i like balsamic yeah. um it's very well quite it, to, to me the perfumer that did this has come from a, a classic uh background of creating perfume so i come from one of the french houses 
So, and I think it's, um, I think it's well crafted, but I think it's a, uh, like a, uh, Do you know the fragrance or not? I don't, no, no okay. I don't, I absolutely don't at all. All right. But that's what I'm going on because it smells like, yeah. I, I sort of, I know how, um, that sort of line. How it's put together. Th yeah, yeah, how it's put together. So I, okay. I sort of, I know where, if I was to train with them, what I would be creating. Are you sticking with your rate? Yeah, I think I think it's long. I think it's very well crafted. Okay, I think it's uh, all right. I will reveal what this one is to you. Then this is Roger Parfum's Enigma. Okay, this is my favourite fragrance. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So cognac, tobacco, vanilla, benzoin. Yeah, there you go. That's what I can smell. Um, very classy, very luxury. Yeah, and uh, Roger, I think, learned nice a lot smooth. of his craft at Galan. There you go. So well done. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I can't remember. The ratings will be on screen. I can't remember. No, I, I don't like it at all. No, no, no. It's, it's got some sort of. Um, I don't like the way that the the tree mossy bit. Yeah. The tree mossy cord has been blended with the citrus. I don't. I, I don't like it. Okay. Fine. So sticking with your original thoughts on that one. Can you smell what I mean? That it's got the. If you smell like the. If you like the tree moss is mixing with citrus and it's creating something which I don't like. This the the way the accords are mixed together. But that's per personally. But I think again it's well crafted. Mm -hmm. But I don't like it. Okay. Um, it's got something really horrible there. This this is um, another one of my favourites. It's Parfum de Mali Carlisle. Okay. I have no idea what you said. So the brand Parfum de Mali. Okay. I don't yep. know. Yeah, okay. Cool. No, you, so you're not you're not familiar no, with that brand. Okay. Uh, so that one's not not for you. No. Sticking with that. Right. Okay. On to the next one. This is boring. Yeah, this is really boring. Yeah. Safe, boring. Bit window cleaner like. Yeah. So similar opinion to yeah. to what you had initially. Yeah, so yeah. okay. So this is Dior on Parfum. Okay, I don't like it at all. I'm, su I'm surprised. Much loved in the community. Yeah, I'm now. really surprised. I think it's yeah, sorry. Right. I love this one. So, so this to me is, it's all based around Iris. That's why I don't like it. Right, and uh, so, so you get that lipstick don't use vibe. Iris. Yeah, do you know that's the. Yeah, one. I've noticed you don't use Iris. I don't yeah. like. So yeah. that's why I don't like it. Makes sense. So I like it. I've yeah. got some at home. I've got the. Um, Concrete, and I, yeah. have to, I really don't like it. Right. So that's exactly what I. Over leather. Yeah, horrible. Yeah. Um, but well crafted. So a lot of people think this is very masculine, very almost niche quality, and um, very refined. Uh, you know, a good kind of um, autumn winter fragrance because it's quite robust. Um, I know, I, I know you said summery, and when you said that, I thought the on Parfum summery, but because of that floral, irisy yeah. heart, I think yeah, I can see yeah, yeah. Um, that uh, you know. You, but you I, I wouldn't wear it citrus. Summer. I wouldn't wear massive citrus. So yeah, I would wear that. To me, would be a light fragrance. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. On to that one. I can just smoke you Marin, I can just smoke you Marin with um, mm -hmm. which I, it's okay. Which is essentially Tonka bean, right? Yeah, it's like a, it's a yeah. Um, Again, I'm getting a, a very wealthy man, so that's that's yeah. what I would, that's what I think would be. Um, so it smells like a well composed, well blended fragrance. It's very, very well, very, yeah. very well blended. So I'll spend a bit of money on. Yes, it's, it's, it, I would smell this, and I would know the person yeah. would have money. So not your style, but you think it's a nicely crafted yes. fragrance, and you know the type of person who would wear it would be someone who wanted to have the uh, luxury, the, uh, you know, come across as as and having money and having luxury. Yeah. Middle yeah. age, so I'd sort of see like, you know, forgetting I'm 45, I'd sort of see them as like hmm. uh, good business. So this is a, I would imagine like a, um, a person who is at the top of a business okay. and managing yeah. sort of people, cool. and because it has that so it has sort a of status to it. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So I'll tell you what this is. This is from the house of Amouage, which are known to be, um, uh, you know, a very uh, yeah. affluent brand. Yeah, they go. Uh, luxury brand. Uh, it's called Reflection Man. Much loved uh, by a lot of people. A lot of ladies love this one because it's very sweet. Uh, often mentioned as a higher quality, similar smell to um, Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mans. It's very heavy on the jasmine and white florals. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. So it's um, it smells expensive. Yeah. So it's I would imagine a um, you know, but it's older, so it's yeah. slightly older. Very indolic that one. Yeah, it's not yeah, white, for me white floral. Yeah, it's I'm really trying to remove day, so, myself. Yeah. Out of it. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Hard. Okay, it is hard. Yeah, it's hard to do. Yeah, younger. So this this is more my age group. Yeah, eighteen. <laughs> younger, fat. Yeah. Younger, fast, dangerous. Yeah. Do you want to have a guess? Brand? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. I, I don't know. Um, okay. No, do you want me to guess? Yeah. I think it's. I think it's a, a younger, sexy brand. It just the way it's been created is. Yeah. Um, it's. Um, 
it's that sort of ambery. Yeah. I love amber. Yeah. So I'm gravitating to sort of amber. So this is Tom Ford's Oud Wood. There you go. Very iconic fragrance. It's a very sexy fragrance. It is I can very, understand why. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, much talked about as being a very sexy fragrance, I agree. Okay. I, you like that? That's yes. your favourite, obviously, yeah, of all of them, I, I think. I, so I, far, I live yeah? by that. Yeah. Sticking with your original thoughts yeah, on that. Exactly. Great. Uh, uh, and on to the, uh, the final one. Yeah, still feeling the same about that. So, from a professional point of view, it's very well crafted. Mm -hmm. From a professional point of view, it's um, they've had a very, very good perfumer with a lot of experience to make it. Yeah. From my personal thing, I think it's so boring. I think it's been, I can, I can smell this out. There's nothing particularly unique about it, but yeah. I... Um, well, you absolutely nailed this one because you said you thought it was a alpha Chanel. male. It's an alpha it is, male yeah, fragrance. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were right. It, it is a Chanel. Okay. You mentioned it being um, fast-paced and sporty, yeah. and it's a lot on sport or extreme. Okay. There you go. So, um, yeah, I know it's not to your taste, but you. No, no, uh, it's, it's you, you pretty it's much um, very well crafted, but yeah. it's it's missing out on dirty. Yeah. For uh, you personally, yeah. Earthy. Yeah. Uh, notes, which the the. Yeah, one I really like. Has I agree. Been. I think it's uh, it's very well crafted fragrance. To smell a little soapier off that strip than yeah. um, than it does off, off my that, skin. That's the mask. But it is it is a beauty, right? So the um, the criteria for these fragrances were some of my favourites. I just picked off my shelf some of my all time favourites that I wear a lot that never fail um, to uh, to give me an immense amount of enjoyment when I wear them. Um, but we all like different things. And Be better than the last ones. Better than much better, much like, better than like, cheapest. Like, yeah, you yeah. can absolutely tell a difference from yeah. when there's been someone with experience and yeah. when they've had time. Yeah. So, what your viewers may not know is the time and length it takes to make a fragrance. The ones that we reviewed last time were made very, very fast, and we got to get this out yeah. next week. Whereas these have been six months to a year's development, a lot of care yeah. and attention. You absolutely, absolutely can tell the difference. Yeah. And, and that comes across in the quality. So, so yeah, so these are some of my favorites. And uh, you know, even though some of them weren't to Aaron's personal taste, that is absolutely fine. Some of the things he really loves may not to be to my personal taste. So, you know, we all like different things and hey, that's what makes the world go round. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there we go. So my favorite, so perfumer rates, my favorite fragrances. I just thought that would be good for the next one. We're gonna do some more of these, so do stay tuned for those. Aaron, thanks for sharing your opinions. Thank you for not being uh, scared to be completely honest. That is why people, I think, love the original video, because of your honesty. So thanks for being you. My pleasure. Okay. Um, well, there you go, that's the end of it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful and entertaining. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, and keep smelling good.